even say? Something about doom? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and help run your business. Let's go ahead and get on into this very expensive mystery box unboxing. This is a Charlotte Tilbury mystery box and one of you guys tagged me in one of their posts about this box on Instagram and they're like, hey, can we like get an unboxing of this or are we gonna get an unboxing of this? And I was like, sure. I'm very easily convinced and persuaded. Literally no effort is required. And now here it is. I do feel like I ordered this quite some time ago, but it did just arrive to my door today. Folks, this box is also $164. I kind of forgot that fact. Um, I went to like look this up before I did this unboxing today and I saw the price and I was like, oh. <laughs> But anyway, let's go ahead and get on into this unboxing here. I am missing my knife, also the hammer. There is, however, an Allen wrench sitting next to me, so maybe this will cut into this tape. It will. So Charlotte Tilbury, the proper pronunciation, <laughs> is a fairly expensive makeup and like skincare line. Okay, Allen wrench is a little bit harder than I expected it to be. They're very well known for their, I believe it's called like magic cream. And I think also people really like their foundation. All I know is that every time I see anything from them on Instagram, like them applying makeup to a model, she just looks so glowy and dewy and luminous. And I'm like, how do you do that? I've also been watching New Girl and it's when Regan, aka Megan Fox, is like coming into the show and daggone, if her face doesn't look wet all the time, <laughs> how? How can I get like that? Be Megan Fox is probably step one. Oh, Jimmy, perfect timing. Yes, Jimmy, you slay those grass blades. I don't stand a chance against you, Jimmy. Inside the actual box here, we have a little bit of maroon colored tissue paper, and then I do have two samples, and then we have the actual mystery box itself. The two little samples that I got are the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2, and the Pillow Talk Lip 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 Push Up Lashes. I thought I had something to do with lips, but both of these are for your lashes. This one is for instant volume and length, and uh, this one is for instant volume and length, so options. Ooh, okay, I do actually like this box. It's a little small. It's a little on the small side for $164, um, but it is a nice box. It has like a magnetic closure to it. It feels pretty sturdy. It has a textury type feel, and it also has the Charlotte Tilbury logo. You could use it for some storage or something, but you know, for $164, probably got to get as much use out of it as possible. And then on the inside, we just have more tissue paper with a little Charlotte Tilbury sticker and all of the lovely things should be in here. Oh, okay, it actually looks like we have a good amount of products, so that's nice. I think all of these are supposed to be full-size products, and I believe we're supposed to get seven items, and the total is supposed to be a value around like 300 something dollars. Double the 164, so basically you're getting a 50% off discount on these items. So the very first little thing in here is the Brightening Youth Glow, and we just talked about being gluey and duminous. How does my brain manage that? Dewy and luminous. What did I even say? Something about doom? This is a brightening, color correcting glow primer. I am not a huge primer person. Never have been, probably never will be. Packaging is kind of cute, nice and shiny, rose gold. Whew. <laughs> I forgot that like everything I've ever received from Charlotte Tilbury has an incredibly strong scent. It's like a very florally, powdery, wealthier old lady scent and it's very very strong yeah so that is the first thing a nice luminous primer the next thing we have in here is the hyaluronic happy kiss color bomb <laughs> and this is in the shade happy peach oh cute the packaging of this is really adorable it has that little starburst on it i think that's very very cute i love the black with the rose gold together Ooh, this looks like a really nice color like a duck. So that to me, it looks like a really nice, just kind of everyday balm color. Um, I'll go ahead and give it a little try. Ooh, okay, that's actually a lot more pigmented than I expected. Hmm. All right, I might have gone like a little heavy handed with that. It kind of just like globs on. I don't know how to explain it. The color comes off very intensely for a balm. And for me, it was just a little bit intense at first, but once it's sheared out, I actually do like this color. I just have to be a little uh, lighter handed with it. Oh, there's two. Oh, I wonder if that was an accident. Why do I have two of these? Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, well, what do you know? I think I accidentally got a, a second one of these. I mean, that's the thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. That's very nice. Sorry if I'm sounding kind of hoarse. I don't know what's wrong with my throat. It's just, it's just doing stuff. Okay, so we have a full size of the Legendary Lashes Volume 2, the Instant Lengthening and Volumizing Miracle Mascara. This is in the shade Black Vinyl. The packaging is kind of cute. We just have like little blinking, winking eyes on there. I'm actually really bad at winking. Like, that's probably not attractive, is it? 
like a golf club. <laughs> I don't know why it's so angled like that. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like hockey stick looking, but it does have a very nice fluffy wand, which I actually prefer like a big fluffy wand. It smells like mascara. All right, you guys, so that was the first half of our mystery box here. Before we move on to the second half, I would love to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Squarespace. I personally use Squarespace for my business and I just absolutely love the ease of it. When I was first building the website for my brick and mortar vintage store that I own in my hometown, I was shocked by how easy it was to create a truly customizable site. I simply selected one of the mini starter layouts and from there I was able to add or remove sections and pages, insert my own photos into galleries and show off my products in store. One of my favorite things is that I was able to connect my socials to my site. So now my store's Instagram shows up directly on my site and when you click the pictures it takes you directly to my Instagram. I also love that every design has a built-in mobile site that matches the style of your website so it'll look great across all devices. Something that was really important to me was having my own unique domain for my site and I was able to do that through Squarespace. I feel like it gives my business and my site and more professional feel and be easily searchable and accessible by customers. It's my dream to take my business to the next level and I think Squarespace offers all the tools I need to help achieve that. So check out squarespace.com for your free trial and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Alexander Ryan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and move on into the second part of the box here. There's definitely something I'm really excited about seeing, but it's like Christmas. Gotta save the best stuff for last. So let's get this out of the way. Not that this isn't best or good. I'm sure this is very nice. And probably also very needed. This is a collagen lip bath, collagen enhanced lip plumping effect. And my lips are, oh peach, peachy plump. Um, anyway, my lips are just bad. They're so bad. They're constantly dry, like the skin just like rejects itself from my lip. It's, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with them. Is it a lack of hydration? Is it a lack of vegetable eating? Is it a lack of putting on chapstick and just suffering through the dryness and pain? Maybe. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be very colorful. I thought it was gonna be kind of like a lip treatment, like an overnight thing. Uh, but this is actually like peach. Uh, it has little pieces of like gold glitter in it. Does it smell peachy? Oh, no, it smells minty. It smells like a cream mint. You know the ones that you get at the Chinese buffet when you leave, there's like a little bowl of them at checkout? It smells like those. But the wand is super different. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this very well, but the wand is almost kind of like heart-shaped at the end. That's, that's very different. I don't know if there's any like purpose to that or it just looks cute. Now that the product is off of it, you might be able to see it just a little bit easier, but there's kind of like a divot in the center. I don't know. I've just never seen a one like that. It feels pretty nice on the lips. It is definitely minty and that like cream mint flavor is actually getting in my mouth a little bit, but it doesn't taste bad. All right. The next item I'm seeing in here is the color code. Oh, these are eyeshadows. Fun. This is a color coded eyeshadow luxury palette. It is a small little guy. I'm guessing it's going to be like a quad. Oh yeah. It literally shows a quad right Right there on the corner. <laughs> oh, this is in the shade Walk of No Shame. Oh. As I was reading these, I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm not gonna read these shade names out loud because I don't understand the second word of any of these shade names. It's just them in a different language. Genius. Uh oh. That is not a good sign. Uh, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that or not, but I'm seeing a lot of debris. A lot of debris. It looks like something is most definitely broken in here, which is very, very unfortunate. I think with all that tissue paper, it wouldn't get broken. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I do actually have a broken shade in here. So this one right here at the corner is broken. The shades themselves do look nice and pretty. This would be a very like pretty muted kind of red tone fall look. Eee. <laughs> Sorry, I can't really show you guys much better because that is definitely gonna fall out of there. I don't know, maybe if I contacted their customer service and let them know that one of the shades in here was broken, if I could get a replacement or not, but um, I'll give that a try. All right, so the next thing in here is the thing that I talked about at the beginning of this video. I feel like this is one of the things that Charlotte Tilbury is most known for. This is the Charlotte's Magic Cream, and I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I have received this. I know at least one time before, I think it was my Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar. I don't know why I said it like that, but advent calendar. And um, I, I ended up not, not using it. I gave it away to a friend. I hope she likes it. Um, but maybe this time I can actually give it a try. I do like how this packaging works though. I did it without even showing you guys. So I'm gonna stick it back in here. So you like pull it apart like this. There are two little separate ends of the box and then it unfolds like this. And then you have a thing. The tub itself is very nice. I do kind of wish this was glass just because it is such an expensive moisturizer. I'm pretty sure it also has that incredibly strong scent to it. Yes, it does. Wow. 
so very scented. If you are sensitive to fragrances, I don't know if this would be the greatest for you. Um, it is very nice and thick and creamy looking, but that fragrance is pungent. The last thing in here and the thing I was actually most excited about in the box is this little guy right here. This is the Hollywood Superstar Glow Highlighter. Oh, it's for the face and the body. That's interesting. Um, I've never tried a Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. I I don't think anyway. You can't ever take anything I say like with 100% belief or accuracy if I'm trying to remember something I've used before because I have no memory whatsoever. But I'm very excited about giving this a go. Again, I've been trying to look more luminous and dewy and it's been difficult to do. So hopefully this will help. Oh, it's massive. <laughs> it's absolutely massive. It is super pretty though. This is giving me very like 1920s art deco seashell kind of vibe. Oh, it's pretty on the inside too. Oh no, the mess. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see like the indention into the actual product, but it's very pretty. It looks like the outer packaging. I swatched it right there on the back of my hand. It's just a very light kind of soft highlight. There's a little bit of pink to it, but also a little something else, maybe a little gold champagne or something in there. It is really pretty, not nearly as like blindingly highlighty as I thought it might be, but I'm not seeing any glitter hunks, which I really appreciate. It does seem really nice. I feel like it would give the face a nice soft glow, and uh, the packaging is super cute. All right, you guys, so that was everything in the Charlotte Tilbury mystery box. It is a very expensive box. $164 is quite expensive for a mystery box, but if you're a fan of Charlotte Tilbury and you know that you're gonna like the things inside the box, did they tell you what came in here before you bought it? To me personally, this was a mystery. I didn't look up what was in the box before, but if you do have access to that information and you know that you like the magic cream and the highlight and a couple other products, then this is probably definitely worth it because everything is like 50% off. If you don't know if you like Charlotte Tilbury products and you just kind of try them out for the first time, this might be an expensive way to do it. You do get a wide variety of things. I like that there is skincare and makeup in here. Everything was full size. We got an extra little little item in there which is pretty nice. Let me know what you guys thought about this mystery box. Do you think it's worth it? Would you personally purchase this for $164 or would you just prefer to buy like a couple items here and there? Just let me know all your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I love reading and responding to them. I just hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!